Hey there, happy day 1079 of What You Have To Now. Sharon Hornelson here, documenting my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar real world of business to the online world of business. 27, actually 20, 2017, I had the opportunity to uh, divest myself of all the things I was doing before as part of my divorce and decide, well, what do I really wanna do with my life? What am I curious about? What have I always been interested in that I wanna explore now? And I got involved in the online world. I've been curious about the internet, but I'd never really done anything more than like learn about things and tip my toe in. I'd been one of those people that was just watching and observing from the outskirts, maybe to see the you know skeptical engineer in me if it was really going to become something, if it was really going to take off. I mean, I've been around since the internet was invented. Oh my gosh, how old are you? you know, I guess we take for granted the things that exist nowadays that, um, you know, just a few years ago didn't even exist. I mean, I think about how dependent we are on our, you know, personal devices, our cellular devices. And I actually remember the time I was in business, I was in, in corporate America. I remember us having the discussions about, about, you know, this, oh, amazing future when everybody carries around a cell phone and they all have their own phone number. And everybody's like, yeah, nah, that's never gonna happen. And here we are, you know, maybe 20 years later and it's, it's absolute reality. So it's really interesting. Thinking about bold today. Now, I don't know why, but I can't wrap my energy in my head around bold, boldness. You know, you know, it's when people say, oh, lady boss, badass, all these things. I just kind of cringe and I'm not sure why. Maybe because bold rhymes with old or cold or, or I don't know, stoled. <laughs> Stole's a word. But, <clears throat> My idiom today for Supersize Your Business was fortune favors the bold. Now, this is one of the oldest possible idioms. It's from 239 to 160, 230, yeah, 239 to 169 BC is when they've traced it back to. And it's had all kinds of people that have used it and all kinds of famous people whose names I can't even pronounce. And it was originally Fortis Fortuna Adiva or Adivat or something. And that means, of course, fortune favors the bold. It's the, uh, motto of the U.S. Navy. It's the motto of Trumbull College at Yale University. So it's, you know, lots of people are familiar with it and it's so true. But I, for some reason, couldn't wrap my head around talking about it today and supersize your business. Some idioms I can relate to and I have a million things to say about and others I'm like, nah, it just is, it is what it is. Well, it's so true though. If we're not bold, if we're not courageous, if we don't step out of our comfort zone, if we don't take action, nothing really ever happens. We don't, can't get any results in our life or expect any results in our life if we don't actually do something. We have to get off our butts, get off the couch, go out and actually do something. And we wanna see results in any area or aspect of our life. <clears throat> you know, I have to get off and go and do and get my nails done. Part of why I'm red today is I want to wear something red for my last day of my red sparkly Christmas and, and holiday fingernails. So, <clears throat> Fortune favors the bold. Bold colors. I love bold colors now because my whole early part of my career was this is what you wear. This is the, you know, it's black or it's navy or you don't wear it here. And that's the, the original corporate environment that I grew up in. <clears throat> and that gave me, you know, my, my little rebel side said, yeah, no, there's all kinds of colors in the rainbow besides black and navy. Maybe I wanna wear other colors. So when I left that company, I turned into the woman with the rainbow colored suit closet. I had, you know, three and four piece business suits in every color of the rainbow and the shoes and the everything to match. Why? Because it was fun. It was my little way of being bold and, and being myself in a world that tries to make everyone conform. I've seen a lot of that right now. And maybe that's why bold is a struggle for me today because so much is going on, at least here in the United States, that is is troubling. And you feel like if you say anything on about anything that you're gonna get stomped down and, and shut down. And none of us want our voices to be silenced. None of us want to feel like what we say doesn't matter or what we believe doesn't matter. All of us want to believe that we're important and that we matter. And there's this big push to to make people feel like they're insignificant or that they're against one another. And I, I find it really sad and really pathetic, but that's a story for another day. So bold, 
do you make bold moves? How do you feel about the, the word bold? Fortune favors the bold. Do you believe that, that people that stand up and are bold and courageous and take action toward what they want are, are favored? Do you think that they end up getting what they want? I must say I 100% agree that we get what we expect. If we expect good things, and why would we never expect good things? We want to ex always expect great and good things to happen in all the different areas and aspects of our life. That's bold. And nowadays, it's very courageous to expect that your, your life is going to work out the way you want it to. But it only works out the way you want it to if you actually decide that, choose that, commit to it, and then do what it takes to make that happen. And I'm going to add the caveat, and I will, I will say this till the day I die. Do what it takes in a positive way to make the world a better place. If we're going after something and we want something and desire something that harms other people or other living things or other beings, you might get what you want in the short term, but I guarantee you'll pay for it in the end. You don't have to ask me how I know, but I do know. I um, took a little journey to the other side when I was 50. I had a sudden cardiac arrest. And so I have different beliefs and different feelings and different position on things that other people don't have. Although I was watching a documentary this weekend about near-death experiences, and it turns out there's millions of us who have died and had a near-death experience. But I say, if you died, then you've had a death experience. I call it a death experience, not a near-death experience, because I was absolutely positively checked out and gone. Again, topic for another day. So fortune favors the bold. Finished the, last week we finished the 365 day do one fun thing every day. And I am still, it's just like when there's a new year and we have a hard time writing the new year date when we're writing checks or writing anything or documents or dating things, I'm finding I have the same thing as I transition from one 365 day challenge to another, especially when it runs over into the, the next year. And I didn't start doing one fun thing every day until the 8th of January in 2020, which turns out to be the perfect topic for 2020 because there were days when it didn't seem like there was going to be any fun in 2020. And... I think that that ended up being the perfect thing to focus on every day to find one fun thing every day to do. Well, this year I'm doing one thing every day that centers you. And this one, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this one's a personal, like for anybody else, working on what makes us tick and what centers us and what works for us is like anything else different for each of us, but it's also very introspective. So some of the challenges I suspect are going to be personally difficult for me and probably for people that participate with me. But that's why I do it. I do it because I pick a thing that I think I wanna work on for the year and I feel like 2021 is just right behind 2020 in absolute unbelievable craziness. And so what do I wanna do when I think the world around me is chaotic and crazy and challenging and just nutso? I wanna make sure that I'm centering myself. I wanna make sure that I am remembering and tapping into my core values, what's really important to me and what I want to stand for so that I can show up for the people I show up with and for every day as the best possible version of me. Does that happen every day? Ah, uh, no. Some days I'm a raving lunatic like the rest of the world. But hopefully 2020, and I'm, I'm determined and committed and know that with purpose, I will become much more centered. Just like I'm, I'm actually, believe it or not, a lot more fun than I was at the beginning of 2020. I know. It's a stretch, right? But I absolutely positively am more fun. I actually went out with my sister on Saturday night and we had pizza and a movie and we didn't have any wine because I had a tummy ache. But uh, normally I would have a glass of wine too. So I met a lot more fun, believe it or not. All right, that's all I've got today. Uh, working on a couple of things. Revamping my, a couple of, of, not my overall purpose and passion and goals and direction for 2021, but I am revamping some of the the actual implementation and things I was going to and am going to implement in 2021 kind of changing and, and messing with the timelines just because a whole lot of things are changing and I, I've made some commitments to people and and things that I want to make sure that I can honor and so that means just like always we have to always tweak and change what we're doing right we have to be flexible one of the best I think and most important qualities you can have is to be open and flowing and flexible not just go with the flow of whatever happens and necessarily agree with it but be flexible in that 
You are always 100% able to control how you respond to things. We can't control what goes on around us, right? Like in America right now, there's some crazy stuff going down. But I, I personally have zero control over that. None. None whatsoever, right? I can go on social media and I can make some comments and I can like and follow and unfollow and block and whatever if I want to. But do I really want to spend or waste my time doing that? Yeah, not so much. Or I can focus on the direction of the things that I'm going on. Focus on my goals. Focus on making progress toward the areas and the aspects of my life that I want. And knowing that the world is always spinning around us no matter what. All right. Any questions? Hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow and let you know what I'm up to now. Take care. Bye.